History Month officially starts tomorrow. So here to share the importance of the month and how it originated is San Diego icon, someone you should know, of course, Dee Sanford. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Thank you. for. We appreciate you waking up, uh, waking up early and being here. Thank you. I woke up at five something. I, I My heart goes out to you because you have to do it all the time. <laughs> I have to ask, Dee, when you wake up, when you woke up at five something, were you immediately just uh, thrilled to be awake or do you need five minutes to get there? I need uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You have to be honest. Um, OK, let us talk about Black History Month. It officially begins tomorrow. The entire month, I mean, this should be done daily, but really we're using this month to uh, highlight African-Americans. Please tell me uh, why we do this, where it originated. Well, you know, Carter uh, Woodson, Carter G. Woodson, back in February of 1926, decided that he should uh, start the study of African-Americans and all the contributions that we have made in the United States and the world. It wasn't talked about. It wasn't taught in school when I was in school. And a lot of people just don't know. So he started uh, Negro History Week and um, it evolved into the Black History Month that we celebrate now. And there's a reason that it's in February, right? Couple reasons. Mm -hmm. Well, it honors Abraham Lincoln, the uh, president who is credited with the Emancipation Proclamation, which freed the slaves. And then also it celebrates Frederick Douglass, who was a tremendous activist. Now, you know, it did initially begin in 1926, but it wasn't until I believe 1976 that it became a national celebration, correct? Yes, President Gerald Ford recognized Black History Month officially, and then 10 years later, um, it became National Black History Month, which made it a national holiday, a national month that we would uh, have set aside, specifically focused on the accomplishments and the achievements and the sacrifices of African Americans in the United States and the world. You know, initially this was created as a way to teach students, teach young people, but I believe obviously it's grown into so much more than that. Can you just tell us, in, for you, why is it so important, especially in today's climate, uh, to really celebrate this month? Well, you know, it presents the opportunity to move beyond conversations about racism and slavery. The racism still is alive and well, and I complain about that all the time. But it presents the opportunity to move beyond those discussions to really look at the tremendous uh, contributions that African-Americans have made here in the United States. And most people have no clue because it's not uh, taught in school very much. It isn't in the history books. Uh, our history is is excluded and many of the patents that we hold uh, or that things that we invented, I should say, were patented other, under other people's names. So it just presents an opportunity to look at the contributions, the uh, inventions, the patented inventions and in, uh, technology, medical, transportation, household needs. Many of the things in the house were invented by the slaves because they had to make their job a little bit easier. And of course, we look at the more, most people are um, more familiar with the arts, uh, movies, music, sports, those contributions, but not the other contributions. Well, so let's get specific. DIC behind you, obviously, there is a poster of Martin Luther King Jr. But who are the people that have impacted you that um, in your life that have made certain uh, contributions? Let's get specific so we can call these people out. Well, you know what? I always love to talk about Madam C.J. Walker. Madam C.J. Walker started out, uh, she was an orphan very early. She was uh, forced to go live with her sister and her sister's husband. But she came from very, very humble beginnings. And she had problems with her hair, hair falling out. And she worked with some people to discover uh, things that would help African-American women with their hair and then went on to cosmetics. She built it into a business, Madam C.J. Walker. Uh, she married and, and um, a gentleman named Mr. Walker and she became Madam C.J. Walker and became the first self-made millionaire in wow. the United States woman. Now, how about we highlight you? Let's talk about some <laughs> of your accomplishments, Dee. 
Oh, gosh. Well, you know what? Once I left AT&T, uh, I was able to do a lot of things. I was blessed to have a television show for a number of years. That's why I'm very comfortable working with you. And uh, also to have a women's networking group, the African-American Business Women of Vision, where I connected hundreds of women here in San Diego with other small business women. And we had lovely events every year. And I ran that for a number of years. And I uh, just really had, to, uh, as a professional speaker, had the opportunity to travel the world and to speak in a lot of different countries and enjoy my uh, connections over there. So I've had a good life. <laughs> Dee, before, good. before we wrap, you know, are there any other words that you want to say to people watching? I mean, sometimes you think, oh, it's, it's Black History Month, but it means so much more, and especially to you and, and to others. Um, so we really want to amplify that. Well, I think once you find out that there's a genius living next door or someone who actually invented something important. I think um, it was just recently uh, that a judge was talking about loving your neighbor. Yeah. Your neighbor is an accomplished person many times. Your neighbor has a lot of history. Your neighbor has uh, connections. There are all, all kinds of things that your neighbor might be able to help you do. But if you never know and never recognize who that person really is, or the history that they bring to the table, you won't give them the kind of respect. So I encourage everyone, if you can, find a Black History Month calendar because I've learned a lot or just go on uh, the internet and search for things that have to do with um, African-American contributions. Also, speaking of the internet, Dr. Philip Emil Gwali is also credited with uh, connecting a lot of different computers together so that you could have an internet. And I found out about him. So there's so many accomplishments that black people have made since we've been here that are simply not taught. And it's impressive when you uh, do the research. Yeah, and I think it, this is a time to research, read, and also listen, listen more and just learn, right, from one another? Exactly, but most of us don't know our history, to be honest with yeah. you. So we can't really learn from each other. You really have to do the work. And I mean, every year uh, I do more work and I found I found out more things because um, it just is not taught. You have to really dig. And I want to also highlight the African-American History Museum, the National History Museum in Washington, D.C. that was opened in 2016. I really want to get out there because I understand it's a tremendous uh, tribute to the contrib uh, contributions of African-Americans. D. Sanford, thank you so much again, Black History Month the month of February, which begins tomorrow. Thank you for waking up early. We appreciate thank it. Thank you, and thank <laughs> little Tommy for always calling me, too. It's always an honor and a pleasure. <laughs> Will do. All right, bye, Dee.